What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into um, Erica Mena and Safari again. It's it's not that much today. Yeah, it is. First of all, she um, let the daughter speak, and I'm not even gonna put that on here because YouTube is way too sensitive for me. But basically, insinuating um, that Safari did something to the the little brother, and I just don't believe it. I could be wrong. I wasn't there. That's my opinion. That's why I'm here to state it. So that's my opinion. Um, it, it does seem kind of coach, like she was trying to remember what he said, which her mama told her to say or whatever. And I just, I can't get with it. But anyway, this is what Erica had to say today, earlier today anyway. <sighs> she said, I find myself in a state of deep astonishment and sorrow that our situation has de deteriorated to this point, it's truly heartbreaking to realize how far we've come. Every situation is ultimately tied to a cause, which inevitably um, leads to effects. Nonetheless, it is crucial that I put an end to this turmoil. I am committed to taking the initiative to stop this, and I believe it would be beneficial for both parties to do so. Our children are the center of my. <laughs> our children are the center of my world and the lights of my life. I'm determined to rely on the justice system to navigate these proceedings, trusting that it will guide us toward a fair and just resolution. We are blessed with two beautiful children who deserve a stable and nurturing environment. As I move forward, I will continue to prioritize their long-term well-being and future happiness. She is full of shit. First of all, the way she tore up that house in front of them, got them walking through glass and shit, bad mom. OK, that's number one. But um, I'm not here to judge anybody's situation. I'm you know, I raise kids, too. And, you know, you don't you're not always perfect, bro. You're just not always having a good day. OK, um, but she just seemed like she is trying her best to keep a, keep them away from him. I'm not even gonna lie. That's what it seems like to me. And, and I just wish um, that these households wouldn't be like that say that much. Uh, but you, it is what it is. Uh, so she also posted this either she posted it or this blog posted it but let's look at it what did i just say about me and my baby mother what did i just say to you say so you can't let her go man you just can't let her go exactly he's texting me saying i'm i'm hiding that i'm like yo so erica mena shares that she has some receipts of her own to share regarding her estranged relationship with her ex-husband uh, i'm sitting here right now talking strong. I'm sitting here right now talking about how ignorant the shit is that we do and everything in between us and then we end up here again. Hold on. Because they... Well, it gave me yesterday, especially when he was like, thank God we're not doing it no more. I think they was addicted to it. Like, and you can be. Soul ties is a real thing. They was having some good sex or whatever. And, um... Was over there, you know, just a little addicted to one another. You know what I'm saying? And which is fine. We have, we do the do to get that, get that feeling. But as you can see, he couldn't let her go either. So I will be going live this afternoon with all my receipts. I've been cleared by my lawyer to show and discuss. This YouTuber really has the world all disgustingly fooled for YouTube vibes. This is a real 2024 video, by the way. All right, so the video we just watched was from 2024. This one don't really give me nothing. Uh, we spoke about this yesterday. This don't give me nothing. Um, you're making what you don't do for your kids about me. You have put me through enough and won't admit to that, which is okay. But, but honestly, what's your excuse for your absence when it comes to these kids? You had them in July, picked them up on Friday and 4th and put them right into summer camp, which we read this yesterday as well. All right, so I just wanted to show y'all that. Honestly, probably look at some comments, and we're going to keep it moving. Um, I don't know, y'all. I just <laughs> I want them to get it together for the sake of, you know, these kids, and I just feel like it's only fair to do so. They're tearing each other down, and I think they realize uh, how much they are tearing each other down, bro. Let's get into some comments. So... Not mad, except for all parties involved, sake, especially the children. Okay. 
Um, so basically she brought the drama to the internet. He responded with visual receipts, making her look bad. Now she doesn't feel any of this needs to be on the internet. Gotcha. <laughs> that lawyer told her to chill out. She's definitely the problem. Girl, shut up. Damn, the latter told us everything we needed to know. <laughs> First of all, y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. I see y'all in the comments talking about y'all would have brought y'all ladder too. Y'all, no. Okay, first of all, that's breaking it. That it may not be breaking and entering. Well, technically, yes, because it wouldn't be trespassing unless you were trespassed. But you over here climbing over my shit. You get what I'm saying? And I didn't ask you to come over here. So that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Um, so instead of so instead of just jumping the F up, you had to announce that you're shutting the F up. <laughs> She started this whole war, and this one time, the fight, the fight's back publicly. She goes off on an unhinged rant. She's unstable and proving his case every time she posts. Um, somebody else said, who wrote this for her? Because, uh, listen, I was thinking the same shit. You ain't write this, but I feel like half of them don't write it. We know when y'all wrote some shit. We do. Your lawyer wrote this. Your lawyer texted it to you this morning. She been bashing this nigga online for months with no reply. Now he speaks his truth. Uh, she want to play the bigger person. Nah, where you get that ladder from? <laughs> Guarantee she got it from her house. Okay. Now, if she didn't and that ladder just so happened to be in his backyard, shame on you too. Um, but it's given she drive an Escalade, whatever. She was in the SUV that day when she... Um, tore up his house to leave and got the children walk through glass. And I just feel as though she brought that ladder from her house. <laughs> I ain't gonna count. Um, she didn't get the response she thought she was gonna get. So now <clears throat> she wanna release a statement, okay? Because everybody looking at her like she crazy after she did them kids like that. Posting their daughter didn't get the response she was looking for. Because... And, and I'm telling y'all, and I'm not showing it here, like I said, but it just seemed like they was coached. It is on here, but I'm not, I'm not watching it because YouTube ain't even going to play with me. Uh, finally, her PR team stepped in to write this message. <laughs> you dragged him for months, and when he finally showed the world who you are, you want to put an end to a girl, please. Okay? Uh, is family court closed? <laughs> Uh, give in. You lost the battle. You are the problem. Ladder lady. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, bro. She got to get it together. I'm not going to cap him too. He ain't no better, but they'll figure it out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.